This is the second in a series of videos about dome build methods. And today we're going to take a look at the um, what's commonly known as the arrowhead method. Uh, for this example, I've, I've um, drawn up a three frequency dome and how it would be built using the arrowhead method. Uh, if we take a look at a strut end, there's no hubs, there's just this angle um, cut on the end of each strut. This is a fairly um, well known build method. Um, because it uses no hubs, uh, it's generally considered to be a cheaper, more efficient way of building domes. Uh, but I would say that it's probably one of the worst ways to build a geodesic dome. It looks in a um, SketchUp model like this, it looks fairly simple, but in, in uh, practice it's horrible to build. Uh, I get emails all the time saying um, I've been trying to build this method and my angles aren't working. Uh, the, and the problem with it is, um, if we have a look at a close joint, is that there's a lot of compound angles and uh, there's a lot of um, it's a very high tolerance system uh, if we zoom right in on this um, we can see that uh, these angles all these angles have to be cut accurately and it's a compound angle it's not just the angle away from here let's let's take a look at um, each hub if we um, look at the different types of hub we have a pentagon hub um, shown in red here I've colour coded this foot so you can kind of see what I'm doing um, the this this angle is the both is both the same on both sides because it's it's a um, symmetric hub um, so that's not too bad but obviously when you cut the left hand uh, compound angle you have to reset the saw to cut the right hand compound angle um, because it's a mirror image uh, the next hub is where the pentagons join the hexagons because in a three frequency there's basically just pentagons and hexagons uh, and you can see by the colors here that there are um, this is where four different uh, struts meet so all of the angles on all of these will be slightly different. Um, the, the, this angle here is the lowest angle because it's on the, on the uh, pentagon side. So basically, each one of these, the, the green will be the same, but it's a mirror image. <clears throat> so uh, this green hub at the bottom isn't the same as the green hub at the top because it's a, it's a mirror image on it. Obviously, the, the red strut is on the left hand side of this hub but it's on the right hand side of that one so although they're the same angles they're a mirror image uh, and let's go up to the uh, hexagon hub and that again is same on both sides but each one is a mirror image so it's pretty much a nightmare to cut all the angles can't really stress um, how bad this system is for building. Let's take uh, a look at a close-up of a joint. Obviously there's no hubs so people think that they're saving um, the cost of the hubs. Hubs do add a lot of cost um, but they're, they're more structurally um, sound than this, this method. Let's have a look at um, a close-up. Basically, what you've got to do at the at the joints is you put this lump of screws in to try and tie the the whole thing together. So what you end up with this is this big old glob of um, screws to hold, attempt to hold it in. Structurally, this is not great because obviously uh, the screws can pull out, they can tear, and you can see that the screws are um, right the way through one and into the other. But they're really quite close to the ends, and uh, putting screws right in the end of a timber is never a good idea. 
Let's take another look at uh, some other problems with this build method. Um, let me just have a look at uh, it when you start to cover. Uh, obviously, um, if you try to cover this with a polythene, um, you'd end up having to staple it to the outside and then probably put a batten over, which looks unprofessional and ugly in my opinion. Uh, if you're going to cover with um, something like OSP, the the other problem is that if you can just see here, uh, this is a strut, the grey blue from right, viewed from the end, and this is your OSB. If you don't chamfer the ends of your ends of your OSB, you get a gap here, uh, which looks horrible. Uh, but a worse problem is that just jig this about a bit is that your OSB just touches here and here so if you're putting a screw in uh, let me get the pencil out and have a scribble if you're putting a screw in and you 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 put your screw in through here like that it it stresses your sheet material because it's there's a gap here and it's trying to pull that down um, if you put your um, screws in this way through um, the edge where it is supported it's obviously very close to the edge of your timber so that's not good either uh, basically it's extremely difficult to cover um, to build at, uh, but the worst thing about about this is the high tolerance that you have to have um, if you get um, one of these um, angles wrong uh, millimetre here, millimetre there if you get the length of that wrong a millimetre here, millimetre there it all, it all um, adds up to pushing uh, the frame apart and forming gaps so it's very hard to make this um, build method work without uh, a ton of gaps you can't cover it in OSB or uh, pretty much any you can't couldn't possibly cover it in glass uh, people do cover it in twin wall there's a there's a degree of flexibility in twin, twin wall and I know that people have built using this method but my advice would be not to use it because there are better ways to build than this method right let's do some um, stats on this uh, I've color coded it so it's easy for us to see that there are four different struts Pentagon uh, the hexagon, that's a hexagon there as well, and the joint between the pentagon and the hexagon, which has, let me let's look at that closer, <clears throat> which has uh, basically all four different um, angles joined together in one hub. So you've got three hubs, four different struts, uh, which gives you a total of about 16 different settings for your chop saw bearing in mind that you have to whatever you chop uh, when you chop one of these although the angles are the same all the way around uh, here for example you have to cut a left hand version and a right hand version so that's you have to set the saw up twice so there's a total of 16 to build this